Collaboration is critical in developing thinking for the reason that learning to think well is a bit like learning to speak a language. Just like learning a language, you cannot learn to think well in isolation. You must do it with others to learn how to do it well. Reasoning is far better understood, in fact, as a social competence rather than an individual faculty. Just as language is about creating shared meaning, so too is thinking together. We need to understand what this means for each other, for we do not all process information in the same way. When we talk about collaboration in the classroom, we don't simply mean a group of students working together. We also don't mean a group of students dividing a large task between them and reporting back to each other on its completion. Collaboration is more than that. And it is critical for at least four reasons. Thinking collaboratively is a form of social cognition in which the limits of cognition are not those of the individual mind but of the group. This can be understood in two ways. First, that social cognition helps check the biases and assumptions held by individual minds. Second, that the outputs of one mind can act as inputs for other minds, so forming a greater cognitive complex. Creativity is a core component of critical thinking, and this is best developed collaboratively. Feedback is a necessary condition for improving experiential knowledge, that is, a knowing how. In collaborative inquiry, in which thinking is shared and communication is clear and direct, the interactions between participants provide opportunities for immediate and frequent feedback on the appropriateness and quality of student thinking, either from their peers or from the teacher. Collaborative inquiry both collectively forms and models the norms of effective thinking, allowing development in critical thinking to be guided and shaped. The internalization of what we learn socially becomes available as a resource for individual private thinking. So we need to consider how our collaborative inquiries allow all this to happen. How are we engineering learning experiences to take advantage of the opportunities collaboration makes possible? Good collaborative tasks will have some or all of the following characteristics. They require students to collectively ask and answer questions, including questions that they come up with. They allow students to think out loud so students can understand each other's thinking and join in, thinking together rather than thinking alone. They require each student to contribute to all sections of the task, or most of them. There is no leader of the group. All decisions are collaborative. Students are accountable to each other for their involvement. Students need to justify their decisions and recommendations to the group. If we focus on achieving these aspects of tasks, or as much as we can, we have a greater opportunity to develop students' thinking and communication skills as well.